It's Silicon Valley's hottest growth story, but is Pinterest a harmless way to share a few of your favorite things or the newest way to harvest your personal data? TechNow's Kristen Dahlgren takes us inside. Jenny Jackson could be a poster child for Pinterest. Pinterest just became an obsession, you know. The 28-year-old hairstylist and photographer uses the sleek virtual pin board for everything from recipes to decorating ideas. I think a good way to describe it is it's folders of things you collect and do and want to do, inspirations. She was recently inspired to form a group with other fanatics to try out their pinned projects. Oh, that looks great. Okay, I'm going to take a picture. So pinned. The growth has been phenomenal. From 3.3 million users to almost 19 million in just six months, making it one of the fastest growing internet companies ever. With millions of visitors and all of those images, you might expect Pinterest to have a huge high-tech headquarters. You'd be wrong. This is it, a small, quiet room in Palo Alto with about 30 employees. As a kid, I was really into nature and I was really into science. So Co-founder Ben Silberman was a bug up. collector as a child with an idea to take collecting online. It paid off. Forbes recently estimated the two-year-old company could be worth over $7 billion. Pinterest has the women and they have the buyers. They have the money, right? and they have them in huge numbers, and these people are addicted. The perfect target for companies. 85% of Pinterest page views are from women, most between the ages of 21 and 34, from the Midwest, and households that earn more than 75,000 a year. Everyone wants a piece of the pinning. Oscar de la Renta recently live pinned its bridal show, the political campaign's pin, and so does Nightly News. We just wanted to build something that we were really proud of, like something that, something that was really beautiful and useful. It looks awesome. And in doing that, the new internet darling with the funny name may just have hit the bullseye. Thanks, Kristen. If, as some tech watchers say, Pinterest is worth near $8 billion, I would put it in the same ballpark as Twitter.